A question that relates to process capability. The diameter of a component should be 8 mm plus or minus 2 mm. So it should be anywhere between 6 mm to 10 mm. The average diameter is 7 millimeters and the standard deviation is 1. You can ignore the within here. That's just to make uh, the whole stuff a little more complicated for you. So what is the CP and CPK value? So the values are given here in option A, B, C and D. Now in order to answer this question, you need to know what is CP, CPK and you also need to know the formula for CP and uh, CPK. Now this as such comes under the theme of process capability, which I mentioned even earlier. You need to know the concept of what is process capability to answer this question. Now let's go a little further into this question. The USL in this case is 10 and uh, the LSL in this case is 6, right? So it is 8 plus or minus 2 mm and the standard deviation is 1 and the average is 7. I have just created some formula in Excel which can help you to answer this question. As you would uh, already know, the formula for CP is the USL minus LSL divided by 6 times the standard deviation which is the variation which is there in the process. The formula for CPK is the least value between CPL and CPU. Now what is CPL? What is CPU? CPL is nothing but the difference between the average and the LSL divided by 3 times the standard deviation. And the CPU is nothing but USL minus average divided by 3 times the standard deviation as you see here in the formula. So the answer is quite now uh, evident that CP is 0.67 and CPK is 0.33. So obviously the answer to this question is A.